Hi, I'm Amanda Smith, HR Director for APD, and welcome to our Employee Appreciation Event. You may recognize this spot as the entrance to our state office building here in Tallahassee, Florida. For some of us, it's been a while since we've been inside of the building. So please join me on a journey today as we explore and see what it is that we've been missing. I'm glad this still works. We'll need a lot of this. Wow, not much traffic here today. Teleworking, teleworking. Easter decorations, still hanging. My, time is standing still. No big meetings or holiday parties here today. Hmm, used to be a room for lots of gatherings. Hey girl. Hey girl. Wow, what a difference. As you see, some of us are still away from the office, but we're still working very hard. So during our employee appreciation celebration, we would like to thank you for your years of service to the agency and to the state of Florida. I hope everyone is well. As you can see, I am uh, here at my home uh, doing teleworking just like many of you are doing. And the only one bad thing about this is that I can't see you and we can't have one of our great eathons, uh, which of course we all miss and, and have loved. Uh, but I miss seeing you all so much. I really, really do. But I appreciate uh, all the hard work that people are doing. It's so difficult with teleworking to have the exact same kind of family feeling because we don't get to see each other. Um, but I know, and I've been hearing reports about all the hard work that all of you all are doing. And, uh, and I thank you so much. These are really unprecedented times um, and but we will get through this. We're all very resilient. Uh, we will get through this. Um, and so today things are a little different. As you can see, we're doing things uh, virtually. Um, but nonetheless, we are ex extremely proud of all of you and all of the years of services that you have been giving. So first, David is going to go through and uh, present those individuals that have been here for 5, 10, and 15 years, and then I will do the ones from 15 on up, or from 20 on up. Um, and uh, I think some of your supervisors are going to have some comments as well. So take it away, David. Thank, thank you, Director Palmer, and thank you all for being here. It's a shame we can't all be together today, but I am thankful that we're able to have the technology to be able to pull this together. And special thanks to Melanie and all her crew for getting this together and Amanda for doing that video as an intro. So we're going to start with the five-year awards. And let me say from the start, if I butcher anybody's name, please forgive me. It's totally unintentional. So first for five years is Cheryl Abraham. And evidently, Cheryl 
can uh, take a very good um, selfie. I myself, my arms are too short, so I have difficulty with that. So thank you, Cheryl. Next up is Dijonay Kennedy. And many of the people, they have put out very <clears throat> creative pictures. So we appreciate that, Dijonay. Next is Francis Carbone. And there's our smiling general counsel. Then Tommy Cleversey. And evidently, Tommy's dog is out there. So we appreciate that, Tommy. Then Kelly Fish. And I truly hope this is not an indication of um, how precarious our budget is, but um, that's a very interesting shot. Next is uh, Megan Kirkley. And there's Megan prior to having her second child. That's a really nice shot. Then Tammy Lucas. There's Tammy. I'm envious again of people that can do selfies. Uh, let's see, Susie, Susie Seats. Really nice family picture. And last in our five year is uh, Amanda Smith. There's Amanda. That does not look like a self there. All right, for the 10-year service awards, first is Myra Arzate. There we go. Wow, that is a cool picture. Then next is Beth Pace. Nice shot of Beth. And then last for our 10-year awards are, is Aris Williams. Good shot of Aris. And so next we have one individual that has 15 years of service and that would be Cecily Sykes. <laughs> really nice. All right, so that does it for my portion, Director. I'll hand it back to you. Thank you, David. Um, and now we have quite a few folks that have been here for a while, or at least been with the state for quite a while. So for 20 years, first we have Raymond Evans. Hey, Raymond, there he is. There's Raymond. Grindy Henry. There's Grindy. Awesome, Grindy. I get to talk to her just about every day, which is wonderful. Kimberly Walsh. Well, Kimberly, you have changed. I will tell you that. But how cute you've become. Yvonne Williams. There's Yvonne. See, Yvonne doesn't mind showing her face, she, her beautiful face. All these people with animals, they must love their animals. Now for 25 years of service. 25 years, think about that, 25 years. Lynn Daw. And Lynn, as you all know, was our Rom in the Northwest and now is in our office now and just doing a spectacular job, spectacular job. Congratulations. Melanie Edders. Melanie, our communications director, 25 years, glorious years. She has led us well in all our communications. Wilma Leffler. There's Wilma. I miss seeing you, Wilma. Tom Rice. I get to see Tom or talk to Tom. Oh, look at Tom. He's, he's a Waffle King. <laughs> oh, goodness. 
Okay. Chapella Riggins. Chapella, how pretty. You look lovely there. Chapella, another 25 year person. And then we've got for 30 years, 30 years. Wow. Kent Carroll. There he is, that handsome dude. Kent Carroll. Steve Davis. There's Steve. Steve is all over this place. I'll tell you what, I don't know what we do without him. Clarence Lewis, another uh, ROM from the central region that came up to the state office and is doing a phenomenal job. Rose Salinas, our budget guru. That look at <laughs> look at her. Oh my goodness. Rose, you are always entertaining us, but you also are keeping us straight uh, money-wise. Okay, D. Ann Warren. There she is. That's a really good picture, D. Ann. I like that picture. Thank you for all your hard work, and I want to thank all of you for all of your very, very hard work. And then we have one very special person that's been here 35 years. 35 years, and also a woman that I could not do without, and that's Dora Moody. Dora has absolutely been my lifeline, and look at her family. Isn't that wonderful? Her son just graduated, and they just yeah, he just got married, and his, her husband is there. Dora, I love you so much. You keep me straight. I thank you. Thank you. I could not do it without you. Now, let's all turn off our microphones. And I want to hear us give a big round of applause for everybody. Turn off your microphones. Come on now, everybody. Come on, ready? That is dedicated service for everyone. And listen, I want to thank John and Melanie and Tim and all the other people that were involved in putting this together. We're not finished yet. I don't want you to think we're finished yet, but I wanted to just take this opportunity to thank them because, you know, it may look like it, it it's easy, but it's not to get all something like this together. And, and we all miss being together. We miss that so much, but we thank you for all of your hard, your hard work and dedicated service, all of you. So uh, John, I know you got a video for us. I would like to congratulate Sir Shirley Abraham for five years and Tammy Lucas for another five years. Also congratulate uh, Chapella Riggins for 25 years and out of that more than 12 years with APD. And also uh, Steve Davis for 30 years of service with State. Mm -hmm. Most of uh, that at least 10 years with APD. All of these are great resources. I have been working with them for a long time. So uh, thank you uh, for all their service and congratulations once again. Congratulations, Kelly, on completing five years with the state of Florida. We are happy to have you as part of our budget team here at APD. Kelly is our budget analyst over central office and has been filling in as our regional budget analyst recently as well. Kelly, I want you to know how much I appreciate your contributions to the Division of Budget and Planning. Thank you for being part of our team at APD. I look forward to seeing all the great things I know you will accomplish in the upcoming years. This five-year service award is from Megan Kirkley. Although Megan's only been in the Bureau of Provider Supports for a short period of time, she's already making a big impact. Megan, we were so excited that you were interested in joining our group and taking the lead in the development of qualified organizations as we go forward to ensure compliance with Senate Bill 82. We thank you for all you've done for the agency up to this point, and we know that you've got great things ahead of you in your future. Susie Seats, thank you for your five years and counting of services to the state of Florida and to the Agency for Persons with Disabilities. We truly appreciate all you do each day. You're quick, you're accurate, you're creative, and I just can't thank you enough. Congratulations and thank you to Tommy Cleversey for five years of service with the state of Florida. 
Your dedication is truly appreciated. Thank you. Hey, APD family. Just wanted to take a quick moment to recognize the service and hard work of Ms. Jeanne Kennedy. Um, Jeanne's worked for the state for five years. Um, she's worked for the state. Um, I think she was hired at DOH two months before I was. Um, so she certainly has um, a special place in my heart. Um, time flies, uh, especially when you're having fun. Uh, Jeanne is an incredible, incredible worker, an even quicker learner, and um, an incredible asset to the state. Thank you, Jeanne. Um, and let's keep it up. Got to get that FRP. Congratulations, Myra, on 10 years of service. For those of you who don't know Myra, she works in our CDC unit, where she's received numerous compliments over the years on her outstanding customer service. Thanks so much, Myra, for all that you do for the people we serve, and we look forward to working with you for many years to come. Congratulations, Eris, on completing 10 years with the state of Florida. Eris is the contract unit manager and oversees the contracting processes for the agency. I appreciate Eris's expertise and the professionalism he brings to each task he takes on. Thank you for all the contributions you have made in helping APD carry out its important mission of caring for our clients. We are lucky to have you as part of our team and we look forward to working with you in years to come. Congratulations, Beth, on 10 years of service. Beth started out with APD in our CDC program, but since moved over to our quality management unit, where she's been ever since. Beth also plays a role in supporting our emergency management activities um, and provides a really calm and reassuring voice during the times of hurricanes when she coordinates conference calls with the regions and the facilities. So, Beth, thank you for all that you do and congratulations on this award. And I just wanted to congratulate Councillor Cecily Sykes on her 15 years of service. Um, it's quite a long time. Um, longer than um, many things, uh, including um, the time I've been practicing law. So congratulations, Cecily. Uh, I envy you, and um, I hope uh, to one day achieve uh, that record as well. Uh, Ms. Sykes um, has been with the Department of Health as well as this agency, uh, and I've worked with her on both occasions. Uh, she is a fearless litigator. Um, and an incredible asset to the state. Please don't leave. Thank you, Cecily. Congratulations, Ramon, on your 20 year service anniversary. Ramon has worked in several positions within the Financial Services Bureau over the years and is our financial system analyst and IT liaison. Ramon goes out of his way to assist his peers with any issues they are experiencing. He willingly takes on whatever tasks are sent his way and usually does so with a smile. Thank you for being such a valuable member of our team. Wishing you the best for continued success. Grindy, I'm so glad that you came over to work with us eight, nine years ago. I really appreciate everything that you do, everything that you're doing for the agency, everything that you're doing for our clients. This 20 year service award goes to Kimberly Walsh. Kimberly knows everything there is to know about group home and foster home licensing for the agency. Kimberly started off in the regional level and her leadership and knowledge was so appreciated that we moved her to state office so that she could have a bigger impact for our providers. Kimberly was also very involved with the Carlton Palms transitioning, making sure that the people who lived there remained safe until their transition to the community. Kimberly, we thank you for all you've done for the agency. Thank you and congratulations to Yvonne Williams for 10 years of service with the state of Florida. Your dedication is truly appreciated. Thank you. Congratulations, Wilma, on 25 years of service. Wilma's had various jobs at APD over the years, and she's currently working in our CDC unit. Uh, Wilma was one of the very first people I met at APD when I came to work here almost 20 years ago. And I just remember to this day how, how um, kind and supportive and welcoming she was. And it really 
made me feel like I made the right decision in, in coming to work for APD. So, Wilma, thank you for everything you've done for me personally and for the agency and the people we serve over all these years. Um, congratulations. Kent Carroll, thank you for your 30 years and counting of services to the state of Florida. We appreciate all you do at the Agency for Persons with Disabilities. You know more about transportation than anyone else that I know, and we really appreciate all you do each day. Thanks for everything. Congratulations, Deanne, on completing 30 years with the state of Florida. We are extremely lucky to have you and your expertise here at APD. Deanne is our manager over the financial management section. She has been with APD since its beginning, and she has worked in various areas of the Financial Services Bureau. She is always willing to assist others and is a valuable resource for whenever issues arise. I appreciate everything Deanne does to make our division run smoothly. Thank you, Deanne, for your 30 years of service. Good afternoon, my dear friend and colleague, Lynn. You are the epitome of a public servant. You spent the last 25 years in public service life. This equates to 300 months, 1300 weeks, 9,125 days, 2,219,000 hours, 13 million and 140 minutes and counting. Even still, after all this time, you continue to inspire all of us in so many ways as you serve the public. Happy 25th public service anniversary. Lynn, working alongside you over the last year has been one of our greatest pleasures at the state office. And we all hope you had a comfortable and happy journey during your 25 amazing years, serving some of our most vulnerable Floridians over the last 25 years, you have had an impact and our citizens are better off because of you in counting. Counting on you to continue your public service. In this day, we honor you and may God bless you, continue to have good health and we look forward to you, your continual service. Thank you. This next service award is for Melanie Mowry Edders. She's receiving a 25 years of service award, which I find hard to believe because she doesn't look much over 25 years old to me. Because she's our communications director, I'm standing out in front of my local newspaper, the Post Searchlight of Bainbridge, Georgia. Melanie does a tremendous job as our communications director, fielding calls from all kinds of people and not all of them pleasant, especially the reporters. But, you know, she does so with grace and tenacity and she does not stop until she gets the correct answer to the question being asked. I mean, Melanie is a great asset to the agency and we appreciate everything she's done up to this point, everything she's going to do in the future. So Melanie, thank you for all you do. Hello, this is Barbara again. Um, there are a couple of people that didn't get the special uh, the word, special words from supervisor. So, and it's because I'm their supervisor. So, let me first comment on Clarence Lewis. You know, Clarence was running the regional office, and prior to that was the assistant. And I remember when I went down and met with him for the first time, and uh, quite frankly, I spent most of my time next door in the chocolate factory where you could buy all kinds of chocolate and things like that. But I went back and then I got to know Clarence and over the years I found he's just such a dependable, wonderful, hardworking, dedicated, caring person. And Clarence, I cannot thank you enough for all of the outstanding work you've done and it has been such a pleasure for me to work with you these past few years. And so congratulations to you. Rose, Rose, I don't know if you all know about Rose, but Rose has 
work down at the legislature. She's worked in the governor's office. She has worked all over state government. And we are so blessed to have you, Rose, because I know that when I ask you something, I get a straight answer. And if you don't know the, the answer, you will find it for me quickly. I depend on you so much and I thank you so much for all of your service that you that you have done for us. And then Tom, Tom, you know, I remember the first time I met Tom, I was walking down the hall and he was coming toward me and I said hello and he sort of sort of said hello. And then the next few days I saw him again and I thought, well, you know, this guy, you know, he seems like he's really a, an outstanding, fantastic guy, but he doesn't quite want to talk with me. And then one day we met in the kitchen and I don't think he stopped talking since. Uh, and so, Tom, I thank you so much. You have really excelled. Uh, you've worked your way up through the ranks and I depend on you daily uh, for information. These people I work with every single day, but there's one in particular and that's Dora Moody. There are a lot of people in this organization that uh, depend on Dora, not just me. Um, but I don't, truly do not know what I would do every day. Not only does she keep my calendar straight, which is very difficult, but she keeps me straight. And it's really, really important with all of the different things that we have to do in this agency. And she's able to balance that and help me set priorities on things that I need to do each day. And they would slip through the cracks if it wasn't for Dora. So with all that said, let me say this. Every single person in this agency, every single person has a very vital role to keep this agency rolling. This has been very difficult times, but it's brought out the best in us. It's probably also brought out the worst in some of us from time to time too, because stress and pressure under very unusual circumstances will do that. But that's okay because that's how you learn and that's how you grow. And we have learned and we have grown. We have made mistakes, but we have done phenomenal, unbelievable things in the last six months. We have saved lives. We have done things together that probably we would never have even thought about doing. So I want to thank every one of you for your dedicated, hardworking, compassionate, caring hearts. I have had a lot of jobs in my life. I've said this to the governor, I've said this to many people, but I have never worked with a group of people as dedicated and as caring, as loving, and as hardworking as all of you. I thank you so much. I God bless you, and please, please stay safe.